Hello, and welcome to Paddling Places, Florida. I tell you what, we out and gonna do a little V-Vlog here, so we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, here we are out on my favorite lake again today. We're gonna do a vlog, just basically a uh, capture of what I'm doing out here today. Now, today I'm back in the Expedition XE with rudder kit, and I had a little problem with the rudder yesterday, and uh, it was my fault but I folded it wrong and broke off both flags which locked the position into place however being that I'm the only one that gets in this boat that has no relevance because I won't be changing it and I had way too much slack and for some reason the cable kept coming off the round spools up around the pedal so, trying to figure out how to address that problem, because I've had it happen multiple times. And again, it's nothing to do with the boat. It has to do with the engineering of this rudder kit and to have that cable stay on. So, I was able to address the issue by readjusting the, uh, the cable tension uh, from the back of the rudder kit looking at the position of where the foot pegs strap around the airbag and good old duct tape where it pops off is right at the top of the pedal and it was when it was being slacked back or pressure was put on the other pedal it would lift and then drop out of that slot. So what I've done is I've kind of taped that slot into place and I want to see if that works. And being that this cable doesn't move, I will eventually, I think, go ahead and put uh, super glue in that channel and lock that cable into place. And then I should never have that problem again. But that's what I'm doing today. Now, it is seriously foggy out this morning, but as I just get started on my paddle, it's lifting and gonna have some blue sky. It's gonna be beautiful. Well, we're gonna go in here. This is really flat and glassy and we're gonna test out this uh, rudder system and yeah, working fine. Okay. So the little fix I did uh, definitely took care of the problem. And again, it had nothing to do with the manufacturer. It had to do with, uh, with me setting it up wrong. But it's all good to go now. I'm real happy. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to do a V-blog. And we're going to talk about advanced element kayak, we're going to talk about floaty tripods, we're going to talk about rigging, all kinds of cool stuff. So we'll be back with you in just a minute. One thing I love about Florida, now granted in the summers it gets hot, oh my god. But trust me, if you're in a, a hobbyist doing kayaking and anything like that, and dude there is water everywhere some beautiful sights all up in through here um, every day you could come out on the same lake five days a week and see something different every day so that's what makes this place so unique and like in california you got to travel miles and miles and miles to find uh kayaking areas unless you want to do it off the uh off the pacific but here there's thousands of lakes I mean thousands and uh, most of them 
are accessible. Uh, some I wouldn't recommend paddling in because the uh, alligator population is way too high. And way down south, they have crocodiles, so I definitely wouldn't recommend that because they will attack your kayak. But if you're looking for the ultimate starting in October, and you're talking about October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, and a little bit of June. So you're looking at about eight months where you could literally go kayaking pretty much uh, every day, depending on weather, of course. Now, most of my kayaking I would say 95% of it is done in an advanced elements inflatable. Now, why an inflatable? That's really simple. Portability, ease of use. I mean, I'm in a 15 foot inflatable kayak right now. It has a nice rudder kit on it. Um, this one's heavy, I think it's 52 pounds, but it folds all up into a backpack bag that's supplied by Advanced Elements, of course. And it has the, uh, and I forgot to mention, this is the Expedition XE. It already has the rudder mount end cap already installed, so if you wanna put a rudder kit on it, which I did, uh, you can. Now this boat I've had up on the Swanee River, I've had it into some uh, class one and minor class two. Uh, it's not rated for class three and I wouldn't try it on class three. This boat is definitely a pleasure craft. If you are a taller individual, this would fit you perfectly. Stability, it's there. Now with the rudder kit, you're turning, as you can see right here, I'm turning the boat without the paddle. That's the advantage of putting a rudder kit on this boat. But it's, it's a beautiful craft. Uh, one of my other boat, and I'll show you some clips of it up there, is the Advanced Element Straight Edge. The Straight Edge is a sit-on-top inflatable which is actually rated for class three. Um, that was my first boats that we, we purchased, me and my sister, when we first got involved with uh, inflatable kayaking. Uh, I like that boat. It's great for when I'm doing a big area nature photography because it's sit on top. I can rig up five different GoPros permanently on it, which I've already set the rigging up for. And uh, the only thing I did to it, and I think the newer model already has it, but I added a removable skeg to assist in its tracking. Other than that, that boat's awesome. My next one was the Advanced Frame Sport. I wanted something that I could just zip in throw out uh lightweight do workouts in do some of my narrow uh, creek and narrow river paddling and that's the advanced element sport now i that is basically my go-to boat i really enjoy taking that out i don't have to mess with wheels like i do with this one because of its weight now, sure, you can hump 52 pounds down the ridge, but I'm not gonna. But the uh, Advanced Element Sport is only 28 pounds. I throw that thing on my shoulder and off I go. I mean, it's awesome. <laughs> the next one that my sister and I really gave a lot of thought to, she was saying, that she would like to get a tandem boat where we could just take one boat and go out. Well, again, 
inflatables was the call of the day portability ease of use again and with all the research that I've done over the past year and a half advanced elements makes the best inflatable kayak out there now there's a lot of brands out there guys and uh, you know you're gonna choose whatever you're gonna choose but I chose the advanced elements because of its workmanship quality materials safety aspect of it I trust it so anyway we went and picked up the tandem convertible with both zip on top one for solo and one for tandem and that was really cool uh, we've used that a few times it's really a great boat so summary of that part of it is as far as the advanced elements goes we have two straight edges the sport the tandem and the XE and uh, I'm thinking about adding the just the straight advanced frame to my collection because my sister likes the sport and I like the sport so I'm seriously thinking about just picking up an advanced frame standard not the sport model that just has a narrower cockpit for me and then let her take out the sport total rudder use <laughs> that thing worked out really cool we're going to take a break here now we're going to take a quick look at the expedition sorry for my shadow but this is the expedition in the water I've been out paddling this is the one i've been using for this video and what's so cool about it you can see how i got it rigged up with the deck bag and then a gopro mounted on top of the deck bag the lanyard is connected to the oar so in case i uh lose an oar or something like that i can retrieve it then back here is the rudder kit it's all installed and working really well and then down inside are the pedals now there's the pedal system right there Let's see how that works and the lake i'm on now this particular dock is actually the dock for my HOA which kind of makes it nice but you can see well, the sun is in my let me try it this way there we go and um, we can get a good pan here of the expedition it's a great boat now you can note that the rudder system is in the water okay guys we're gonna wrap up this vlog for today uh, we were able to accomplish a lot of things I got this uh, rudder kit working excellent on the advanced elements expedition XE I also found out that my mating pair Eagles have come back to the same nest so I'm quite excited about that. I got some beautiful photos last year because I didn't think they were coming back because they lost both their uh, their offspring somehow. I think an osprey got one of them, but not sure. But we're definitely going to uh, be bringing out the cameras now. So the next vlog that comes in, and we're going to talk about the WG3 wearable gimbal now i'm going to be testing this on the stuntman backpack mount i'll be testing it also on a hard mount kayak pole and also on my sling bag and whatever else i can find to find out if this is worth its salt now why the wg is because it's waterproof and in my sport that makes a lot more sense so hey we're going to get out of here. Y'all have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next one.